Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours Morning Prayer for Saturday, November 6. For the breviary, our hymn is 1071, first and upon 1072 onwards, 620 for the Catacomb. For the Christian Prayer Book, it's hymn 8, 916 for the first antiphon onwards, 691 for the Canticle. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, you are near to us, and all your ways are true. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are truth. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, Lord you, you are, are near, near to us, and all your ways are true. Wisdom of God be with me, always at work in me. God of my fathers, Lord of mercy, you who have made all things by your word, and in your wisdom have established men, to rule the creatures produced by you, to govern the world in holiness and justice, and to render judgment in integrity of heart. Give me wisdom, the attendant at your throne. And reject me not from among your children, for I am your servant, the son of your handmaid, a man weak and short-lived, and lacking in comprehension of judgment and of loss. Indeed, though one be perfect among the sons of men, if wisdom who comes from you be not with him, he shall be held in no esteem. Now with you is wisdom, who knows your works and was present when you made the world, who understands what is pleasing in your eyes and what is comfortable, conformable with your commands. Send her forth from your holy heavens and from your glorious throne dispatch her, that she may be with me and work with me, that I may know what is your pleasure. For she knows and understands all things, and will guide me discreetly in my affairs, and safeguard me by her glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Wisdom, Wisdom of God, God be, be with me, me. always at work in me. me. The Lord remains faithful to his promise forever. 
Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the Lord remains, remains faithful, faithful to his promise forever. forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. In everything you do, act without grumbling or arguing. Prove yourselves innocent and straightforward. Children of God beyond reproach in the midst of a twisted and depraved generation. Among whom you shine like the stars in the sky. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Today, the Apostle Paul reminds us that in everything that we do, that we shouldn't grumble or argue, that we would be, should be straightforward. When I read this passage, I think of Mother Mary. She was one who shines like the stars in the sky, and she was one that didn't argue or grumble. She was very quiet and very faithful. Her yes meant yes. And her nose meant no. She cared for her son like, like no other. And raised him to be the man that he was. What a beautiful image of how we should live our lives. Very simple, very obedient. Without grumbling. Just keeping things to yourself. She suffered a lot. Just knowing that Jesus was going to die on the cross. Must have pained her so much, yet she held all those things inside with a faith knowing that God's plan had to be fulfilled. Thank you, Mother Mary, for giving us that example of how we should be, that we may shine like you did, shine like the stars in the sky. Mother Mary, pray for us. I cry to you, O Lord, for you are my refuge. I cry to you, O Lord, for you are my refuge. You are all I desire in the land of the living, for you are my refuge. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I cry to you, O Lord, for you are my refuge. Lord, shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sin. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, shine, shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death.
With confidence, let us pray to the Father who willed that the Virgin Mary should surpass all creatures in heaven and earth. Look, Look upon, upon the, the mother, mother of your son and hear our prayer. We are grateful to you, Father of mercy, for you gave us Mary to be our mother and our model. Through, Through her intercession, intercession cleanse, cleanse our hearts. hearts. You inspired Mary to be attentive to your word and faithful in your service. Through her intercession, intercession give, give us the, the gifts gift of, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. You strengthened Mary at the foot of the cross and filled her with joy at the resurrection of your Son. Through, Through her, her intercession, intercession relieve our distress and strengthen our hope. Let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we lift up to you our prayers and petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and everyone praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Father, that you hear and answer each of our prayers as we say, Look upon the mother of your son and hear our prayer. We now pray the prayer your son Jesus has taught us himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, fountain and source of our salvation, May we proclaim your glory every day of our lives, that we may sing your praise forever in heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May, may the, the Lord bless us, us protect us from all evil, evil and bring us to everlasting life. life. Amen. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same, same channel. channel. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.